Hi, in this video we are going to do a product review on the LB930 Racket Sports Bag by Artengo. This is a bag that is sold by a company called Decathlon and I looked at this bag as an alternative to the leading brands such as Babalat, Wilson and brands like that. Alright, so I needed to be convinced that this bag was worth um, comparing to the premium bags and so far having bought the bag I can say that this bag is definitely worth considering. All right, let me give you a rundown on the bag. The first thing is the size. Now you can see from the Complete width is about 78 centimeters and the height of the bag if I take on the side profile we're getting about 32 centimeters the width in terms of the uh, width of the The compartment space you could probably squeeze out more than 18 centimeters because this is still quite conservative. I'm not puffing it out the official dimensions of the bag according to the website are 77, 26 and 28 in terms of the height. The total volume that the bag can handle according to their specification is 56 liters with the two pockets here, uh, the racket pockets giving the bulk of the uh, volume at 50 liters. So you could think of it as 25 and 25. And just to give you an idea of this, uh, here I have a racket, obviously it's still in its cover. But as you can see, there's plenty of room there. And on the other side here, I have also the racket compartment. And you might be wondering what this is. This is a storage place for your shoes. Now, I have some examples here. If, you're, if a child is going to use it, these are children's shoes. This is a size 6. And when you put the shoes in there, you will tighten this uh, zip over here. And as you can see, there are breathing holes there because of smelly feet or whatever it is. And you can see now there is the shoe um, nylon here, keeping it probably uh, quite airtight. I wouldn't call it waterproof, but this package, this nylon is close to waterproof. Um, I would say that if the shoes were damp, it wouldn't come through here. So if you had clothes, the uh, shoe, the, the, the moisture from the shoe would not bother the clothes. And just to compare it with a much larger shoe, here are adult uh, shoes. This is a size 11, UK 11. And as you can see, a little bit more difficult to get them in, but they do still fit. There we go. And there's plenty of... Plenty of space still there on the side, although you, you will have to give it quite a, a push in there. And there they are, there's the shoes. So that's probably the, the, the full length would probably be a, a size 13, um, UK 13 uh, or thereabout. So if you've got a very big foot or if you've got a very big shoe, might be a bit snug. And there they can come out. Right, just inspecting the pockets here just to show you, I have tennis balls here, there's a lot of space on these pockets, you could easily get your three rackets and another three rackets, a change of clothes, uh, you could even put your shoes here, it is a bit of a mission getting in the back there, but what I like about this is that it won't, you know, the bottom of a shoe is often dirty and you know, people don't want to put it in here because of the um, dirt onto your clothes, you know, tennis clothes are often white, so it makes sense to have a shoe compartment although you could just have this as your dirty compartment but nevertheless you've got the shoe compartment what i also like about this bag is if you see these zips it's got this uh, extra nylon here the zip is a good quality feel it's not getting stuck it's not loose and then tight and loose and tight um, this one on the side also very premium feel it's got this uh, molded green like almost luminous green which matches the bag it's got this nice green handle here and when i feel this handle i feel like this is thick nylon all right so just to review the pockets you inside here you've got some mesh pockets here there they are and what you can see is they are subdivided so you could put a some cards there you could put um, 
something else there, some change, and then you've got a bigger one on the side there. So there's a few mesh pockets, and that's about it in this large space. And if you feel this uh, material on the side, it's almost like it's padded. So there's like a foam, a, a foam feel here. So it's not just the nylon. There seems to be a inner padding in here, which I really like. And between the two uh, compartments, again, there's that foam. And there's this one, and you can see that it's also foamed. And on the side here, you've got another pocket. There you go, you can have some wipes. Uh, and it's quite big. I mean, you can see how spacious this is. And this side pocket here, you can put some items here. And even on the side pocket, once again, it does have this extra foam, which gives it quite a nice solid look. So what I like about this bag is it's, it's got like a rigid feel. As you can see, there's not much in it and it still stands upright. Uh, you can see that the side here, it's not all creased and deformed. That foam keeps it very um, straight looking. And then just to close off here, you can see I've got another handle here, a handle here. And now for the greatest feature of this bag are the dual back hand um, straps here, which are padded. And also it's got some of the, um, the same color coding. And what I like about it is this bag allows you to put it on your bag, your back as a, almost like a rucksack. So usually the tennis bags have the strap in the front, which is fine if you carry it over your shoulder. But you know that, uh, especially if you have to walk very far with a heavy bag, it's it's quite annoying to to have an uneven weight while you are um, carrying a bag. You want to be able to balance out the weight, and that is one of the reasons why I got this bag because of the balanced system here where you can put this over your shoulder and I will show you what it looks like. Josh is going to demonstrate how to put the bag on your shoulders. And there you can see the bag and you can see how the bag sits. It is rather long but keep in mind this is a miner who's carrying this bag but just showing you how the bag can sit. If Joshua faces the wall you can see the back view of the bag. There you go, and I will also show you the bag on my shoulder so you can get a comparative view of this. So here's the bag, you can carry it like that, or you can carry it like that, or as I said, you can put it on your back, and you can adjust it with these straps, and there it is very comfortable. So there you have it, this brings us to the end of this review, I highly recommend this bag. Another feature which Josh has just reminded me of is if you crunch the bag like that, you can see how it doesn't wrinkle, which is nice. This has got a leather feel, although it is not leather, it is fully polyester, this entire bag is synthetic, but as you can see that it has got a premium finish and uh, highly recommend the bag. Consider this bag if you are looking for a tennis bag. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it is black. So if you're leaving it in the sun, it's obviously going to be, uh, it's obviously going to attract more heat because it is black, but it does look really nice. For me, I would have preferred a lighter gray, but overall, I re highly recommend this bag.